Which of the following has the highest electronegativity? A. Sodium B. Bromine or C. Fluorine Electronegativity is a measure of the tendency of an atom to attract shared electrons. When atoms share electrons, the electrons are generally not shared equally. We say that the electrons are polarized towards the more electronegative atom. The general trend in electronegativity follows that of ionization energy across a period from left to right and going up a group electronegativity increases. Here's a periodic table. Here's sodium, here's bromine, and here's fluorine. Going up a group, the trend in the electronegativity is increasing. Therefore, fluorine is more electronegative than bromine. And lithium, which is just above sodium, is more electronegative than sodium. Across a row, the trend from left to right is increasing. Therefore, fluorine is more electronegative than lithium, which is more electronegative than sodium. Therefore, of the three elements given, the most electronegative is fluorine. In fact, fluorine is the most electronegative element, and it is assigned a value of 4.0 in Linus Pauling's electronegativity scale. So we could see that the trend in electronegativity is increasing towards fluorine. If you're wondering about the noble gases, they are generally found as a collection of isolated atoms in nature. They tend not to gain, lose, or share electrons. When Pauling created the electronegativity scale, no data was available to assign values for the noble gases. Since then, however, xenon has been found to form molecules under certain laboratory conditions. And spectroscopic data suggests that neon has a higher electronegativity than fluorine, and that helium has a higher electronegativity than neon. Therefore, theoretically, helium has the highest electronegativity. But when asked on an exam which atom has the highest electronegativity, your answer should be fluorine.